don't leave me. Oh, <laughs> hey. oh that was weird. Uh, welcome back. What's the greatest? We play every video game ever. It's exhausting. Then we beat them, and then we tell you if it's the greatest game of all time. Uh, we are continuing our adventure in Ni no Kuni 1, Wrath of the White Witch. Pretty sure that's a tongue twister on purpose. Um, not a lot of preamble because last time we went over two hours because I couldn't find a safe spot. So let's just get, just get moving. Uh, in case anyone wants to know, the last time our heroes were around, we are looking for the king of Ding Dong Town. Yeah, I don't know. Ding, Ding Dong Dell? Ding Dong Dell, we are looking for the cat in the well. Ding Dong Dell, well, cats, all sorts of good stuff. Covered all the bases. Um, we got lost for a while. That was a thing that happened. Um, now, we're gonna finish exploring the well and then probably fight the boss and keep going. Uh, beep, boop, beep. I gotta remember how to do this. Oh, it's one of that soul that he lost. Um, joining me on the couch off screen is my wife, Rachel McAdams. <gasps> Hi, Rachel. Star of Mean Girls. Star of Mean Girls, Rachel McAdams. Married to me. Who would have thought? Who would have thought little old me? Little old tubby Bob McAdams <laughs> could land a starlet. Smoking babe. A smoking babe. Was there a treasure chest back there? How the hell did you get that? Yeah, no, I guess. Yeah, that's a treasure chest. And Mr. Trippy in there, he's like... Who inches big? You'd think that would be how it works. Uh. As usual, Mr. Trippy Rookie. Right All these GD bars. Uh, how do I pull up the full map? This button. Okay. Maybe back that way? We'll try it. You know what people love about watching someone play an RPG? Is backtracking. However, the person playing the RPG usually can't get enough Can't. Oh, I wish there was a game that was just called Backtrack. Come on. Uh, and you just run backwards the whole time. <laughs> Because you're going backwards and forwards between, like, three different locations. Yeah. You are never in the right location. There's <clears throat> no way to get ahead of the quest. <laughs> nope, nope. It's always... Every quest you get tells you, like, Hey, my buddy, two towns back, needs this stapler. And you just run all the way back every single time. No warping whatsoever. No warping. Oh, sure. Find a magic that's probably not. Spring luck. Ugh. Stupid Oliver can't get a stupid good wand. Well, at least somebody kept a nice club sandwich. <laughs> Still fresh. In there. Don't think we missed a path, though I guess. Let's try one more thing when I go back there. Let's go! Um I will be excited for smell-o-vision. 
because I feel like video games can really capitalize on it when you go to the sewers in every game. Just think that potent air just filling your house. Really sets the scene. You could like, oh, before your friends come over, I'm just gonna do a real quick sewer level. <laughs> and then they'll be like, wow, how do you keep your house always smelling like crap? Like septic tank back up. Ooh. Yeah. Why does your house smell like rats on the uh, blossoms? The blossom part is nice, I guess. It's a sewer blossom. Oh, Kill that rat! I'm not, let's say, far in the game, and I feel like I've already, like, stopped leveling up. <laughs> oh. That. A oh, spirit. Oh, okay. Anything cool with your magic? Is... you'd think... I guess not. You don't have any ideas, do you, Drippy? Nope. Classic Drippy. Useless. Heal up. I'm sure that's not a head boss. I can't. It's big, stupid. Give me out, Justine. Need a hand? It's you two. Look, one has retrieved one's wand. Huh? So he wasn't kidnapped. <laughs> the crew <clip laughs> struck one. Oh. Should've saw that coming. Why would you distract the king? <laughs> That'll teach you to turn your back on me, you old tom fool you! <laughs> Hickory Dock? That is one huge rodent! I feel like that should be the name of a monster that we fight in a clock. No, we we are too slow. They disagree. They're like well, like, well. It's a well-based Creature. I think the rat is definitely a well-based creature. Mm -hmm. Fireball in your face, you stupid rat. I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but when you play this game, you have to have like a claw grip because you got to be able to hit the D-pad to move your spells around. But to move Oliver, you need the joystick. Dumb boss. Yeah. A sexy child. No. Shut it down. Child just wants to get some. Nope. 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 A 
such a weird... Yeah, I got into it in time, you stupid mouse. Yeah, I know this isn't a, a, a fun fight to watch, but you know what? It's probably a safe fight. He got up pretty quick. Well, or because I was like a hundred miles away when he fell over. Got your mouse player all day. This is how I fought like every boss that I came across. It's because you can actually dodge by just running in circles around it. That. And it's almost a guarantee that your magic spells are gonna do the most damage. Yeah. I mean, in this instance, I'd be like, oh, if this fight goes on forever, I might have to heal. Finish him! Kid is ruthless. He's not. He's. Murder! I'm just saying he's a little boy in the streets. He shouldn't be as scary as he is. Yeah. You know what? True story about that mouse. It just wanted that sandwich locked in a chest that I found. <laughs> and instead, I decided to set it on fire. Gave him a knuckle sandwich. Yeah. Uh, Smitey and Thumbo. Get you next time. You Knickers as a yeah. It's a weird swear. That's like if, when you got mad, you just went like panties, 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 panties. Uh, truth be told, Rachel, that's what I do. Well, Should you and Mr. Drippy are both creeps. Your radiance, I thank you mm -hmm. all for attending. Very well. I hereby call the council to order. You are all doubtless aware of the purpose of this session. We are here to discuss the elimination. Of the pure hearted one. Come before us, Dark Jin. You summoned me, White Witch. The so called savior of the other world. You know, Disney does this as well destroyed. for games or for and movies. There's a whole army of, of mages right here. Executor. Just send them all at the same time. On one condition. They like to sit. They're very late. <laughs> He presumes to bargain with our queen? Go on. Very well. I must request that you entrust this task See, he's good. to me. He's like, no, no, me I can alone. do it. Only me. Don't send the other 12 mages in this room. The council, <laughs> I have no need of your aid. Like when uh, in Harry Potter, Voldemort is always like, don't kill Harry Potter, he's mine. Which, you know, really up to carry survival chances. 
that way. Well, would you stop being such an egotistical maniac about Silence. it? Very well. You will have your yeah. wish. Should Where do I get a space cloak like that? I entrust the task entirely to you. You gotta go to the space world. Teach those who speak of a I don't like that I can see your tongue back there. She's wearing a mask. Fucking behind it. And I just don't like it. This Oliver, this savior, I will taint his heart with the blackness. She's like, this Oliver's so stupid there. right now. It Please. should be. But I'm saying, like, he's so early in his quest that they could just be like, we're gonna get him. Yeah. We're gonna send a magician who isn't a goddamn rat and it'll kill him. And then it'll be over. We'll be like, good game, good game. Yeah. It's fun seeing that kid get murdered by a much yeah. older, and then, more powerful adult. And then you take over as the adult. Bring forth one's wand. This is one's magic wand. When one was a kitten, one ran quite wild with the old thing. Here, it is yours now. Thank you very much, your meow just the... If you know who finds out about this, one fears we shall both live to regret it. But one could hardly say no to one so very pure. Like, who the you say you know huh? who, you mean Shadar, don't you? Uh, uh, there's no need to say it out loud. This is Voldemort style. Yeah, it is Voldemort. Yes, that is who one means. Your Majesty, you've gone and given him the wand. Now there's no going back. One supposes so. Don't worry, your Majesty. I'll bring down Shadar. You'll see. Stop saying his name! This one's good enough to actually open some stuff. Got the Frostbite spell! Elm Moon. Push him over. Yeah, Kingdom does owe me a goddamn great deal. I shouldn't have to pay for anything in this town. <laughs> if I want it, I should get it. He's pure of heart. He doesn't say anything. He's a good kid, unlike you. <laughs> Are you saying that I would, uh... You would alienate the townsfolk immediately, yes. All I would do is pit them against each other for my love. No. But I know you think that's reasonable. Uh, okay. Blurp, blurp, blurp. Like how we have no need for this heart piece. We're just like, this guy's got a lot of it. Let's take it. Just snatch this man's enthusiasm. Yeah. We're like, oh, who are you going to give that to? Is it like a guard loafing? No, I just want it. Oh, he seems unaffected, but it'd be amazing if he walked away and he was depressed. Should be. Um... What's menu? No, nope, that's magic. Um, what about quests? Two flowers and spring water. 
The vegetable thief. Yeah, let's go take care of them. Uh, internet, you will soon know and hate me for the amount of side quests that I want to do. Feel compelled to? Yeah. Must? Yeah. Complete all side quests? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, let's not go and think I'm gonna 100% this game, uh, because I came out and said I will try my best not to do that. But, I'm gonna do some similar stuff. Dad, what's the point of your new wand? Yeah, cool. Cool, bro. Thanks for a wand that's uh, a half step up compared to garbage. I found a stick in the woods that worked and you can't do any better. Yeah. They're like, whoa, you're kind of a, a jerk kid. Yeah, I kinda am. I know this town is really into fish. I wanna know how I get back there. Probably those flower pots mysteriously disappear after you Drift. trigger a certain event. They spring the lock. Set that shit on fire! Okay, rejuvenate them, get form familiar. Uh. Can I just torch him? No. I find it hard to believe that you're shooting fire at a plant and nothing happens. Nothing happened. That plant is resistant to fire. Uh-huh. That's oh, Teddy Roosevelt. Bully. Very droll, dear boy. Very droll. But I'm not just pootling around. New favorite word, pootling. Oh, I can't find my diary. Oh, what a minute. Probably hidden in that giant look. <laughs> sure. We'll help you find it. It might have been when I sat by the river. Let's find the stupid diary, let's find some flowers and some water, and let's fight a vegetable thief. And that that's the vegetable thief. So sure am excited, Mr. Drippy. Um so now we are powerful enough that some creatures will actually run away from us. Um because we are too strong for them. Which is great right now, because you're just like, cool, 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 I can just kind of get, get in, get out. Um, the bad thing, that will come later in the game, like I said, we are not even, okay. well, let's probably talk into that. But scratch the surface. Yeah. Um, I think I said in maybe one of the first vidges that this is like Pokemon at some point where you catch creatures and so you're gonna want to catch them all I believe is how one of the stories go and you're not gonna want creatures running away from you if you're trying to catch them Ugh, killed you in one hit. You probably should have ran. We did it!
get all that white bread. So keep your eye out for some sparkles. I'd imagine that's what's going to be the stupid diary and flowers and waters. Let's go. Here goes. These creatures didn't even want to fight me. That's what makes my guy in the enemy of the state. Mm -hmm. We did it. Going around menacing innocent creatures. Yep. <clears throat> I know I said this for the uh, when Vikings attack, but I want every game to turn out where you're the bad guy. And I know there are games that do that. But you right. want every game yeah. to do that. I'm going to be like, ooh, cool, cool. Um, I'm this little boy. And everyone's just like, yeah, you're the hero of the story. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. And then it turns out just like, no, Let's you. Go. Put a bunch of animals on the endangered species list, and you just murdered... I don't know. I don't know what Shadar could be that's a good thing, but turns out he was, let's say, running the deli. Just murdered the sandwich guy. He was actually trying to, like, end... Uh, income inequality in the country. Yeah. Like, fight for the little guy. And you just happened You're to like, get. No, served him forever. Yeah. There's something on the ground. It's a diary. I want it to be a diary, but then you bring it to him. He's like, "This isn't mine." Yeah, this is find diaries all over the place. With somebody else's diary. Doop a doop a doop. Twinkly Dinks. Spring water. I think I need another flower. I think it was two and two. We can do this. I like minor bird. They dispelled bird rock. Play off a minor bird. Play off a what? Minor bird? There's a bird called a minor bird that's supposed to just... I think it just... I don't know. I think you're thinking of a parrot. It's okay. Easy. Parrot. Easy mistake to make. I don't know. Okay. Spell it wrong and see if this game comes up. <laughs> Let's go towards that. Yeah. There is a bird called a minor bird. Uh-huh. But I don't know if it talks. Let's do it! Hill miners, which are the tropical members of the family, are renowned for their ability to mimic the human. Boom! Whoa. You're crazy. I know a lot about birds, I guess. We well. It was probably research for one of your roles that you just don't remember until yeah, now. Exactly. It was probably for Red Eye when you were on a plane. Yeah, I played a bird expert <laughs> on a plane. <laughs> yeah. Played naturally occurring bird experts that take planes. Uh. Oh, I see it sparkles. Get it. Let's hope you're a flower. The bird was running from me, but when I turned my back, I did a booster shoots. Is that what you wanted at all? I'm a child. I hate shots. We can do this. Here goes. Just straight up murder. Decimating local. As a child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, by having creatures run away from you, it kind of tells you, like, oh, hey, guess what you don't need to do? Level up. You're good. That for what? Creatures are scared of you. Turns out creatures who live on the plains are giant babies, because 
He's just down in the well. We're about ready to eat you alive. Yeah. Alright. One of these. That's a. Uh, sparkle Darkle. Glitter Sparkle? Take on the Gruffian? Sure. We can handle it. Let's do it! That was like a boy band. Oh. GD Claw. Let's first take out the lackeys. Yeah. Oh, five damage. That's nothing, you stupid animal. It'd be nice to him. He's trying his hardest. Man, I should just use Frostbite. Boom. Dead. Just the big guy left. Here, catch up to me. Catch up to me. Catch up to me. No? Try and bite me. Oh, <laughs> you were too slow. Mr. Freeze style. I need you. Now burn! Nito! We won the bounty. Mm -hmm. uh, so. To see a diary. Beat that. Do we have where's items? Accessories. Reets. Plainswords, flowers, and spring water. I think Ooh. we're good. Let's go cash in our monies. Snake rolled into me. Let the record show. We can do this. It was pretty harmless. They attacked me. Stupid idiots chewing on their own tail. We won. Maybe asking, yo, Bob, why are you doing side quests? I'll show you, because you get these stupid little stamp cards. And if you fill out those stamp cards, you can redeem them for things that are actually useful. As opposed to just buying an item. Capital. Ugh, he's just carrying around teeth? Yeah. What the hell is wrong with him? I'm almost close to my merit stamps. I bet he needs a little enthusiasm. Yeah. I just can't be bothered. Mm -hmm. I'm just a sad man. You know, also get him to wake up, shove him in there. Yeah, a little dip in some cold water will wake him right up. Oh, I gotta talk to him to give him this heart. I was hoping to save this enthusiasm, but I guess you can have it. They say broken hearted 
And the only thing I can think is like, oh, his wife and kids left him. Right. So it's just kind of bummed today. Yeah, that's kind of woke up a little sad. Not even like, oh, I here's just... three loaves of white bread. How many sandwiches are you gonna make with three loaves of white bread? They're gonna go bad. That's why he's trying to give them away. It was quest number one. Zero, zero, one. Boom. Boom. Card complete. Ready? Ten in our... Rainwater. Give me a shield. Cleaning up. Somebody's got some enthusiasm. Jump and go. Or she's just tired. Let the woman take a nap. Yeah. Nope. This woman refuses to keep the house clean for her lazy husband. <laughs> Full to the whiskers. How lucky that this person right next to this lady who needs enthusiasm has a lot of enthusiasm. This seems to be the only thing you've been harvesting. Yeah, I think as the like, um, as the game progresses, you get the other pieces of the heart. I think town one is just it, people lacking enthusiasm and people getting enthusiasm, and then it's eventually going to be like. I think at the end of the game is people lacking sex drive and people giving sex drive. Viagra. Yeah. Here you go. This you like frog can yeah. have to clean up the house. No rest for you. Make that man dinner. Here's some loaves of bread. <laughs> he loves bread for dinner. What am I doing wasting time standing and talking to you? How did they have like flan in their pocket? You don't keep flan in your pocket? Try, but it just never goes the way I'm hoping it will. Just cleaning up this town. Somebody was storing money, and I just stole it. I know. Turn in our... Uh, claim bounties. Give my sword. Get four salted ice creams. Mm. A winged beast. Yeah. I like salting the ice cream. Is there any other side quests on the old errand board? Forest dweller who lives in the eastern part of the rolling hills. I don't know what any of that means. Um, so, kind of what I was talking about. So you get these stamp cards, and you can claim them, and you can get things. So if I turn in my one completed stamp card, I could, um, 
I could learn to jump, because as a kid, I don't currently. Children don't jump. I hate it. <clears throat> Not very useful, but a whole lot of fun, so basically pointless. Uh, run a little faster, that could be good. Uh, makes foraging more fruitful, that's definitely good. Um, Jack in the Box makes it easier to sneak up behind enemies. Causes additional uh, restorative items to appear during battle. That's probably the best one. I gotta save up, I gotta finish this card so I can get it. But yeah, so it gives you a reason, like, that's the sort of stuff you can buy in the um, townsfolk. I can. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, let's give this guy his new sword and. I already got a shield equipped. Ooh. Yeah, wear your leafy cloak. You can also have a giant's tooth. Why not? Hey, better magic wand equipped. You got your giants too, for reasons nobody knows. Freak people out. I also got a. Oh, I have two shields. Equipped and in bag. Gotcha. Look at eyes, sweetie pies, my blondes, my cakes, my ice creams, my sundaes. Woo wee! I got it all. The thing I never really uh, played with is this creature cage. You can presumably be like, hey, I want to take Smitey, our toughest guy in the world, and I want to him to be better at... Oh, we'll just say... Let's... Treats aren't even for you? No, the treats are only for your Pokemon. Rude. I'm gonna give him an ice cream. What did I look like? Then slowly that bar fills at the bottom. And if you fill it... It goes up. Boom. So now he's a little bit better at evading things, but... You give him too much, he gets too full. Oh man. Uh oh. He effin loves chocolate. <laughs> and then if they're too full, then they I don't know. Can't fight or stuff. Who knows? Bumbo, how do you feel about flan? Eh. You're not ecstatic about it. How do you feel about a Sunday? Yeah. Does not care. Well, that's all you get, man. Smitey showed some love. I don't know what the growth limit is. We'll find out. Probably not. I mean, my telling stone will tell me. Compendium. Yeah, well, that's probably just telling me about the stupid creatures. Ooh, it will be... Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Boost abilities, learn new tricks. Didn't tell me anything, but great. Great, great, great. So we got another bounty out in the world, which we should... I think you can save it outside. I hope. Oh, you can save it anyway. Yeah. 
got a bounty, and we got something in the rolling hills, whatever the crap that is. Then we'll be on to Desert Town. Desert Town! You'll get caught up in the Desert Town. Right. Rolling Hills. This is all Rolling Hills. So what does that say? Forest dweller who lives in the eastern part of the rolling hills appears to be having some difficulty. Wow. You could not be more specific. I feel like I'm in the eastern part of the rolling. No, no, heavens no. <clears throat> um. Okay, right away. As you are not going to want to fight me, I gave somebody a new sword. Let's do it! Here goes! Hey, did they even hear about the new sword? And a chocolate bar, and he freaking loved that chocolate bar. We did it! Is it weird that when I'm trying to determine uh, north, south, east, west, I still pretend to be a kid and I do never eat soggy waffles? No, they taught you that so you remember. It's working. Guessing. Found it. Seems to be sealed by some kind of magic. Open it. Steal these people's belongings. Got a badge. Every game, every RPG loves the caveman English. There's always a town or a group of people that are caveman. Me, Ugg, you, yeah. Oliver. Monsters, in forest, run you. Yeah, okay. You are two steps away from a town, you're right. That is limited language, but he, their extremely limited vocabulary still includes the word rampaging. Yeah. <laughs> Which seems like a pretty sophisticated term. <laughs> we'll help you protect your forest. What is spell? They also, while they can't speak it, they can understand anything. Yeah. You use a word and they're like, oh, I know what that is, yes. despite you would think not being able to know, since they don't have those words. Let's kill some rhino boars. That sounds like an extra endangered animal. Yeah, definitely is. Definitely is. Aw, oh, look at how cute it is. Well, that's its butt. Here goes. Yeah, its butt was really cute. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> this just, you know, and I'm gonna say it every time. This is the game that for people who love dog fights and like cockfighting, and they're just like, I love to see two animals kill each other. And them. Yeah. Like I could just imagine, you know, like you see all these people and you're just like, oh man, they're like hardened criminals, and they all go to a GameStop and they pick up Nino Cooney. Like, yes, got it. This is the game for me, a notorious dog fighter.
special. So I have some early thoughts, I would say. Uh, I usually, and this happened last time I played a little bit of it, is you just kind of get attached to do, like, one familiar. You're just like, yeah, Smitey's my guy, I'm always gonna use Smitey, he's a higher level. He's got a weapon. <clears throat> and I think what they should do is to encourage you to use others, is you should share health between them. They should have very individual health, and it should be presumably hard to raise their health. Like, you have to go to an inn. And that way I could be like, oh man, I fought 40 battles with Smitey, but he's finally on his last legs. I now have to use uh, my lemur. And then you'd be like, okay, I can see what the lemur's gonna do. Obviously, I know that I used Lemur in the sewer because it's like, oh, that thing's faster. to go. You can tell that these endangered creatures aren't actually a threat because it was staring right at me. It did not decide to charge. It just kind of stood there. Then I snuck up behind it and now all it's trying to do is defend itself. It's a tiny gremlin with a wooden sword just repeatedly hits it in the face. You fulfilled the mission! Forest people, hey, we killed all those endangered animals, here's all their meat. That's what you're really doing. Oh, well, they had iced coffee. <laughs> yeah. So they're at least a little civilized. <laughs> and money. They're a complicated group, okay? Boom. Oh. Second merit stamp complete. So we kill this bird. It's terrorizing the town. Get out of here. I don't want to fight you. Um, then I think we'll probably be done with Ding Dong Dell. I can't imagine that more quests will appear, um, at least certainly not without us doing story missions, cleaning up bounties and side quests probably uh, won't trigger anything. And truth be told, I mean, I, when I played this game, I didn't make it much into the, like, I made it to the desert town, but I don't even think I beat the desert town before I called it quits. We can do this. So. <clears throat> Zoomly, then, I will be on unfamiliar territory. We won! Look, I definitely didn't get to the Pokemon part. Um, and I know at some point you get other humans on your team that kind of fight for you as well. I didn't get there, so. Oh, 
That is a, a winged beast. I believe, if I'm correct, I'm chasing like the thing that looks like a lettuce plant. Let's do it. Here goes. We did it. We'll save it just to be safe. Oh, we're so close. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely what we're after. Yeah, not so much a winged beast as a pile of cabbage with eyeballs, but... <laughs> so scary! I like it's, it looks like it's wearing one of those, like, masks. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like Kill its friends. Make them regret ever hanging out with this goof troop. Dang. The art of war. This is how Oliver has learned. So that we kill this law of the jungle. Yep. So stupid. Well, I didn't kill it. Well. Here, Thumbo. You can do the honors. Uh, it's hard to believe that plant person, Fuzz Buddy, was terrorizing the village, but, uh... They think so. Yep. Alright. Back to Ding Dong Dell, and then I think we're on to Desert Island. Cash in our card and get that bonus health in battles seems like the obvious first choice I don't know you want that jump that doesn't do anything yeah with the description of kids love to jump The one thing that will worry me about this game, and I hope it doesn't happen, is I hope I don't get Pokemon craze. And then I'm like, I gotta catch all these stupid animals. You're right. I'm very sorry you're going to end up like... No, I'm gonna be strong. I'm gonna be so strong. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Let me just left a dead body here. Oh, it's breathing. So much money for a kid. <laughs> right, let's just uh, let's just triple check. There's nothing left on the board. Nope. Good. Claymar. Let's get our GD salted ice cream. Delicious and nutritious. Mm-hmm. Get our stamps. 
No new bounty hunts. Let's claim. Let's get our... Uh... Hell yeah. Earned. Um... I already know that, sir. Get out of my face. Let's, uh, let's check out the old stores. I think this is just an item shop. Even though I got clothes here, don't ask. Doesn't make sense. I guess clothes are technically items, so kudos to whoever suggested that. Oh, I get some. Just a pile of masaki. Where this? No, the green thing. No. Oh. The red thing. <laughs> nope, just lettuce. French and carrot. No, it's Can be used to make treats. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is there a cooking element in this game? No, this game already has a lot going on. But why not? Throw yeah. cooking into you. Yeah. Now you got to get recipes. Cures blindness now. I'm a kid. I'll never lose my vision. I got one. I got at least one of every treat. I'm gonna say, lady, the E to D. I don't need anything. Oh, can I steal your chest though? Love Mora. Sorry. Let's see. Rachel, I don't think you were in the Harry Potter movies. No, but I can still enjoy them. No. Movie stars aren't allowed to watch other movies. <clears throat> uh, movie stars are only allowed to like movies they're in. Huh. Alright, well, now I know. As someone who is in a lot of movies, you may have seen me in a extra in Jumanji, the original, not the new one. Um, as well as a extra in... Um, Citizen Kane. Oh. I was the newspaper. <laughs> I was gonna say, I have to admit, you've never told me your age, and you are <laughs> much older than I was kind of estimating. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. What's that wiggle? Uh, a horn, a horn that I can give the rodent to attack with. Usually they come with their own claws, but that's fine. Oh. Um... And yeah, I mean, I got some money. Why not buy it? Yeah, sure. Equip it. Now it is technically a better attacker than Smitey. Oh, yeah. Even though Smitey's got a well-worn sword. Yeah, but this squiggle horn is brand new. It's not well. Look, like I can buy equipment for people that I have yet to come across. <laughs> like, cool, you want to buy this leather armor? Great, well, no one can wear it. One day you might want it. <clears throat> Alright. Get out of this craptacular town and head on to Desertopolis. Mm -hmm. How's our... Uh. We'll, we'll make an end stop. Thinking about it now, what I should have really done if I was a psychopath, and I'm not there yet, is every time I came across a chest that required magic to open it, I should color code the chest. So then I know, hey, in the forest, there may have been a blue chest that contains an item that I could technically go back to and get now, but I just don't remember. I'm glad you're not there. At uh, that kind of psychopath level? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I guess. <laughs> you're so sad about that. Right on to the desert.
Even as an adult, I think of all the stupid uh, stuff that I learned as a kid that just stuck with me. Like the difference between spelling desert and dessert is dessert has two S's because you're going to want two of them. <gasps> That's a really good way to remember. I've never heard of that. You're not going to want two deserts. What if you love deserts, okay? I, mean, I guess I feel bad for Arizona. They're just like, yeah, I kind of want two deserts. My whole stupid state is a desert. Get for being in Arizona. There are scorpions. <laughs> A mushroom town. The forest of plenty. Sure hope we get to meet some of your other lion fairy friends. Mm-hmm. Whole bunch of dirty liars. Hope we get tricked going on more adventures. Oh no, a vicious <laughs> sunflower. Oh no! Oh my god. A worker bumbler. Watch this! And whatever that is. Whatever they are, I love them. Oh boy, Thumbo is getting rocked. In a new area. I know Thumbo's got terrible defense. So this might be a. This might be a smitey kind of area. I'm gonna want that health, Smitey. Old Smitester. <clears throat> oh, Smitey, you're so close! Put more wicked bumblers and you'll be there. <laughs> Self my turkey club. Uh oh, a mothball. I was thinking a giant pea. Pom pom, and it made vomit noises, so. But I'm assuming it's a mushroom, buddy. Man, what happened to all my extra focus power juice that's supposed to be coming out in battles? Ooh, I got the supple leather. <laughs> Gonna add that to the list of gross words. Supple. Ooh, give me that supple leather. So you learned a new move. Oh, that's not how you do it. How do I do it? Oh, tricks? It's sandblast, blinding an enemy, or smash hit doing big damage on one of them. Sandwiches restore a hundred health. They're mighty good sandwiches. Feel myself the old-fashioned way. Magic. Come on. I feel like feeding yourself. 
old-fashioned way. Nah, couldn't be, couldn't be more wrong. Oh yeah. Thumbo in over your head. Uh, Thumbo's a, a, a fast attacker and a fast runner, but he's got no defense. So... When these guys were charging and hitting Smitey, they were doing one per charge. With Thumbo, they do like four and five. Ugh, punched him right in the gullet. And yeah, I know it's a giant ball, but it doesn't have a gullet. You don't know that, it could be in there somewhere. Ooh, some more of that sweet, sweet, supple leather. Oh. What would we say that is exactly? Just an ingredient. You can chew on it. Rub it on your face. Yep. Yeah. Okay. One way, always go the opposite way. Video game rule one. Okay. Please shut that down. Yeah, but now I know. I'll never ask questions. Be like, uh oh, did you need that jump? I need, that, I need that jump. Let's see. Necessarily speed. I want to try this way. Fight more green goop and a sore boar. We can do this. I have a little bit of chest hair. Here goes. We'll be on a sore boar right now. Favorite? Yeah. By far. And he's got a little on. He's on the crowd for a lady boar. Yeah. And I wouldn't blame any lady boar for hooking up. <laughs> Tender beef. You know where you can put that tender beef? In my supple leather. Mm -hmm. Feel like you're not a fan of that idea. I suggested it. Speaking of supple leather. Yeah. Uh, sure. Fine, I have no question. Set of beast fangs. See, it held one giant tooth. You just turned a box This game is getting more and more upsetting. Yeah, it is. And then you were like, I should take these teeth with me. Good. Yeah. 
Do the patch. Plus two attack. So might as well. You. Then I'll be the creep who has two single giant teeth. Good guy I am. <laughs> Look, Mom, I found all these teeth. Can we keep them? <laughs> no, that's a dummy. Yeah, yeah. And you forgot you're there. Then I kicked him right in the yeah, face. He had it coming. A little tyke. Watch this! It implies you're beating up a traveler. Yep, I am. Oh, it's too slow on the defend. Oh, I'm gonna use magic. Alright, so this way as we go. Now that we got our set of fangs. Watch this! Here goes! You have a sword, just cut their stem necks. All the day. I am surprised that you can't harvest the enthusiasm from your enemies. Where you can then basically just take part of their heart. I mean, you're already demoralizing them by beating them to death. <laughs> Might as well get that last bit of hope out there. Yeah. Ideally. Alright. Down or up? Just another dead robot. You'll always find those. If they're all over the place. There's one up here. Do we know? I, mean, I, I guess. Hoping at least for a sore bore. This little dubby. This little fella right here. I just pulled out his little squiggly tail. Watch this! Here Here's, I just realized, second time I fought the Sorbor, second time I've gotten tender beef. Am I stealing the meat from this creature? You're definitely butchering these animals out in the woods. Oh, God, this game is dark. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it wasn't dark already by, like, the mom dying in the beginning, the fact that you're killing and skinning and breaking down... Animals. animals after your brainwashed animal friends kill them. They're great. Like it's one thing to be playing the Witcher and be like, oh, you got monster brain. Yeah. You're a He's a grown ass man. It's a grown ass man and they're monsters. It's another thing to be like, Yeah, this poor pig didn't know what's up and then I ate him. But he gets what he's trying to live his life in the woods. Hey, you got three different directions here. Thank <laughs> you. 
<clears throat> I know nobody watches this, but if you do and you actually know that there's some sort of strategy <laughs> to these fights, let me know. Because, um... I don't think that. And I want to know if I'm fighting wrong. I think as long as you win the fight, you're good. Yeah, no, I know. We can do this! Here goes! Oh! This murder. A little slow mo kill. Jumping on that mushroom. How is that one different? They're droopy. How do I get that treasure chest? Those mushrooms. Is there a magic spell? Un Undroop? Uh, I imagine that I come back here in like five seconds and it's rejuvenate. But they just haven't told me that it's rejuvenate yet. Magic works. It's useless until someone explains to you exactly what you. A lot of branch and pants. The forest. <sighs> I guess you're right. Green blob, they're the ones that beat oh, me down. Dancing? Yeah. Jumping on these mushrooms. I can see what those pads were. Listen, little tyke. You should have ran from me. I'm using pizza as a shield. You have no chance. Hopefully, the goals we get through this forest, and that's what we'll call it. The plan. Let's go. Here goes. This is to test my theory. There's another boar. I kill this boar and I skin it. Oh, that time I milked it and I got iced coffee. Watch 
complain about leveling up. Seems like these creatures are still a nice amount of experience. I'm sad that you can't have two of your little at it. Maybe you can later. Watch them work together. Be best of friends. Yeah. So, we did it. Treasure chest has an iced coffee in it. Let's go. Here goes. Realize that if I if this was real life and I was Oliver and I was like, oh no, I need to refill my magic, and that means I need to drink iced coffee. I'd probably just be like, eh, I don't think I need magic anymore. I'll just I'll just hit people with my stick. I'm not gonna drink iced coffee. Oh, loaf of bread, loaf of bread. Sandwich. That's better. <laughs> you sound so angry. Ugh. I think that way we couldn't go, so we only have one way. Until we, until we undroopy flower the flowers. Mushrooms. Okay. Are mushrooms flowers? No, they're technically not. They're fungi. Yeah, so they're not plants. Let's okay. go! That's a good point. Let's go! 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 let us go I get that. enjoying this video until you said plants and mushrooms were the same thing. Slash dance up. <laughs> oh, you missed. None of those strikes at it. Sorry for all that backtracking, but we are playing backtracking the game. And I would just really, really have a rough time living with myself if I knew I left that sandwich up on a cliff and didn't go back for it. Yeah, who's gonna eat that sandwich? Be like, nope, that sandwich is safe and sound in my backpack. Huh? Like 14 other sandwiches. Just all in individual Ziploc bags. Piggy, I don't want to skin you. No choice. <laughs> Turn me to bacon. No. Watch this. Here it goes. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think it's funny that I think it's special is halitosis. So, you know. Here's some here's some dentist problems. Some nasty breath. Enjoy. Ooh, up or down. Oh. I'm really good at picking up. That was a treasure test. But I want you to pick out dead ends. I mean it's I don't go halfway down and then go, well, I'm curious now. Yeah. What? A whore's harpoon? A spear with a tip made from a semi-transparent ice that is designed, destined never to melt. That sounds amazing. Why can't I use it? Because I haven't gotten the Pokemon yet. Do you ever like hang out with people? Or does this little boy just surround himself with fairies and No, you animals? get you get people. I think you actually get a person in the desert. This game takes its time. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't you try to trust me? Give me a point. Alright. Right here, the. Event. I tell you a lot of things, kid. <laughs> Enough life force. Oh. Wink! You can be born from everyday objects. If you love something, I could turn this table into a familiar. You don't love that table. Well, I, no, I don't, but I could. I could learn to love it. I like how they're just like, hey, we know a lot of people have gotten to this part and they're very worried about killing all of the animals. We don't kill them. We just send them somewhere where they can't bother us for a while. A.K.A. Hell. Okay, good. I'm reassured as a child. Children. So gullible. Your head. All you have to do is cast a spell that, I don't know, restores or rejuvenates things. We'll never I figure such out. A spell exists. Yeah. Cat wants to be comfortable and does not care. No, it's a cat. And now it doesn't want to do anything with you. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Your third familiar. It's a poodle. Uh, I never used this when I played before. It looks... A bajillion percent harmless. Look after yourself, you stupid thing. It's just a baby. I'm going to abandon it. <laughs> Goo.
too dangerous for you, so I'll leave you alone to die. In this forest full of monsters. Hello, buddy. Hope nothing bad happens to you, but I won't know, because I'll be long gone. Something's following us. He'd be great on a color guard. Yeah. He's going to rejuvenate the forest. He does not care about any of them. No. Nope. I guess he would have been safe in this forest. Yeah. Like, they, Let's go. they love me. No, they don't bother me. Mighty. We did it. I like how Smitey looks like a Muppet crossed with a little rascal. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I'm following you. Page on the ground. I'm like, what are we talking about yeah. here? What, where are you? Quicken growth. No idea what that could possibly be used for. Probably won't need it. Yeah. Did? No. But where are my other examples? Saeed? Planter? Seymour? I like Saeed. Saeed? It is. Six hours in, and they're just like, "Hey, you want to learn another thing?" <laughs> just one, though. We don't want to yeah. freak you out. Let's give you your harpoon. Um, you're never gonna be used, so hold on to that. Chance. Well, he starts at level one, oh. so I'm definitely not giving him a chance. Yeah, he'll be murderized. Uh, until he plumps up. Come on! Here goes! 
Grow some mushrooms. Sometimes you just want to get through the forest. Mm -hmm. And you're like, yeah, I fought you guys. We can do this! It's like every RPG ever, though. It's like, sometimes, yeah, I would like to fight. Another time it's like, I was just trying to walk between towns. <laughs> I'm trying to get into all I'm just gonna keep telling myself, like, experience. Yeah. It's yeah. all worth it. You learned a water bomb. Drippy, I don't want to drop any green or blue orbs anytime soon. We did it. Don't make me dip into my iced coffee. <laughs> Get me to my chest. <sighs> that all you care about? Yep, pretty much. Well, I'm gonna say maybe you come back to. Run! It's a bag. Forest gives you a... I feel like I've gone through a lot of this forest without a, another save spot. <laughs> yeah, it does. Next save, we're calling it. Beating the forest or not. Better run. Hey, and there's the same spot. Very potent magic. So, next time, we will see what's at the end of the forest, I'm guessing. Head boss. I thought maybe a really big tree. 
Yeah, maybe the head boss is a really big tree. Seems like it'd be kind of But it can move. Oh no. Save twice for safety. Uh, switch back. Camera. Boom. There I am. There's my face. Um, we are now a grand total, everybody, of five hours and 22 minutes into the game, so I've got to be halfway done. Um, they don't have anything fun like how many steps we took. Those are always the fun stats to look at. Or how many times you swung your sword. But okay. Hey, thanks for joining me. What's the greatest? Um, as we do every time we play Nino Kuni, is the next video will not be another Nino Kuni video. Uh, we'll try and keep things moving because this game is obviously going to take us well into 2018. Um, you know, fucking November, fucking December. Maybe even 2019. Maybe even 2019. Let's see what happens. Um, I, I have an idea of what the next two or three videos will be, but we'll, we'll return. We'll come back. Um, but the, until then, uh, just want to bid you all a, a, a fine evening. Hope you had fun spending time with, with, uh, with me and Rachel McAdams. Obviously I can't show you on camera. Um, I'm not wearing makeup. I can't be seen without my makeup. Yeah. Like E and... Access Hollywood would have a field day, so it's just, you know, it's better that I do it this way. Um, but yeah, until next time, uh, we'll see you soon. Toodaloo!